Hello, my ladies nah, and gentlemen and all that sort of stuff. Now, basically, it's just a video of an update because I'm going to be doing the build tomorrow for the 9900K and all that sort of stuff. But I'm going to show you what I've got before I build into it and see what your expectation is. Because technically, it's all about being a consumer and I'm following uh, the video right the way through as a consumer. And um, yeah, that's what that's going to be about. But also, be quiet of today. I don't even know what the date is today. The date is Tuesday the 30th of October 2018 and they've released a new power supply and I've got that in the box down here so I'm going to be showing you that and obviously showing you what I've got to build into this new computer and yeah let's, let's just go and I've got the computer on and it's not even turning on. Hey there we go so we can just have a look on the screen. So anyway let's start off with first. What Be Quiet has sent over, this is a new release, this was under embargo, in fact yeah, it was under embargo and I think it came today, which is a little bit, little bit late, not, was it today, or did it come, yeah it came today, so it was unembargoed, I knew about it but I didn't have it until just now, today, this morning, alright so I'll, I'll show you what that is about, right so, in this box, Oh. oh, I've got to put this on the floor now. It's a bit of a mission. So, they haven't just sent over the new power supply. They sent over uh, Dark Rock Pro 4. I might be using this to test in the 9900K. No compromise silence and performance. But it's only 250 TDP uh, rating. But it should be enough to just get it working. But I want to go and overclock it. But loads of you have been asking me about... Oh, is the 9900K going to be sufficient for whatever AIO or CPU air cooling that you're doing? So hopefully it will be. And um, if it is, then it's all good. But I, I don't know until I've tested it. And why are you still quit without saving? Yes. Well, just get in there. Where's is my SSD not connected? I bet I haven't connected the SSD. Have I not connected the SSD? Hmm. Okay, regardless on that. Anyway, we've got a new power supply and there's something else in that box. So let's have, take a look at this power supply real quick. So this is a 600 watt one. This is their new light. This is called the Pure Power 11 exceptional quiet and superior and reliability so that is definitely true 80 plus gold let's get this out so we'll look at it i just want to have a look at the cables and stuff as well i can't seem to open this as easy as what i would like to oh there we go All right. so let's take a look at that put this out the way, some we'll see that, that should be okay. Alright, so we get a little book, Pure Power 11, it's really nice and shiny. They do 700 watts, 600 watt, 500 watt, 400 watt, and these are all the CMs as well. And it's quite straightforward about safety instructions and inductions and that. It looks pretty nice, that book. Uh, cables, okay, we've got some separate cables, uh, semi modular, so it's not fully modular. Cables are alright though, they're nice and flat. Um, we've got a few Molex, few ESATA, uh, VGA, and what's this one? These are, I don't even know, this must go straight into the back. I'm looking for the 8 pin and 6 pin, stuff like that, and I can't seem to see it yet. But we get a, a different sort of plug cable. I need obviously uh, one for the UK and stuff, so I need one of them. Uh, didn't come in the box. Comes with cable tyres as well. And what we got, we got like five cable tyres there. Don't like plastic cable tyres, but they've got the screws on the back as well. Uh, so from this range, by the looks of it, I don't know why they've brought out another power supply to be honest with you. I know Be Quiet power supplies are just so, so good. They really are quiet, and even when you're gaming, they hardly even spin up. This one looks all right. It's got like a little orange ring around it. It's got the little fan in there. I think that looks like a pure Wings 3 fan in there. 
Oh, I can't. Well, I can't tell you unless I look at it properly, though. But yeah, it feels. It's got a little uh, weight to it. it. Doesn't feel like the premium, premium range. Would have liked to have seen this cables to be separate though, like fully modular, like their other power supplies. It's got a 24 pin, and I like the 24 pin to be able to just be clicked in and then you can easily get it into the motherboard. I hate like these separate ones, but this is 20 pin for obviously the old school motherboards and then obviously 24 pin for the new ones. And it does have a 2 4 pin as well for an EPS connector, so they're separate. Uh, and that's it on, on that. It has actually only got two 8-pin. So this power supply, I don't think I'll even be able to use it with the new motherboards. I wouldn't be able to use it with uh, a Z390. Or even the Asus Crosshair motherboard, because that had 8-pin and 6-pin. Or 8-pin and 4-pin, I can't remember. But it had two power connectors, and this has only got one. But anyway, you can put your uh, East, your connectors straight into there. So I'm guessing that's for eSATA and Molex. And this is for your graphics card VGA, PCI 1 and PCI 2. It's a nice looking power supply though. So if I had this face down, and it would have been this way around, you get that. And then if you've got it up this way around, so that means if you've got it on top of the case, it will be like that. It's got the nice Be Quiet logo, so it's not slightly embroidered. It's alright, it's not too bad. But uh, let's have a look for these on the box quickly. Where is it, so. so on the back we should have obviously a 24 pin, uh, that's 550 mil, 600 mil uh, is the two 12 volt P4 connectors which are the two 4 pins or two EPS connectors that make it an 8 pin EPS connector, 500, oh yeah all the other cables are 500 mil and uh, so you get two PCI Express ones, and they're 6x2, another one 6x2, another one 6x2, and 6x2. So you don't just get one that's completely 8 pin that's together to make it look nice. It looks like it sprouts off the edge as well. Then you get, uh, what does it look like? 6, no, 5, yeah, 6 uh, SATA, and you get 3 Molex, it looks like, and then 1 HDD. Uh, it also says, Maximum current is 25 amps and over 18 amps and DC output is 3.3 volts by 5 volts. So maximum combined 140 watts, so 600 watts altogether. Should be a decent power supply. I'm going to definitely put it together for some use. Um, probably in a ITX build or something like that. But I want to ch check these cables quickly because I don't like certain cables where they just sprout off. Now that to me looks pretty cool. I like that. Right, okay, these cables are better. Because what it is, is that some cables, like the spaghetti junction ones, have got like cables that are just coming off of here and you plug your uh, uh, hard drive in or anything in needs SATA power. And then you, you've got a Molex on the other end. This is like SATA, SATA, or SATA. And it's a nice like 500 mil length of cable and they're flat and easy to get rid of. And then you've got a separate Molex to Molex and then a SATA. That's not bad though, that's that's okay. I'm all right with that. I'm happy with that. Now, let's check the graphics card one. Uh, graphics cards. Right, okay. No, don't like these. Don't know why companies do that. It should be separated and then it'll make it more of a nice flatter run straight into cable management. Don't mind obviously having a two pin and then a six pin, and then you can plug them in together. But if you've only got two six pins, then you've got one little cable hanging around. And if you're a modder, you can just cut it off and then obviously hide it away. But it just doesn't look right, or just buy um, custom cables. That's the only thing I don't like about these cables. And then if you've plugged this in, you've got an eight pin and a one eight pin. This one's just going to be hanging about, and then you're going to try and drag this into the case, and it's going to be hanging about and not look very good. So it would be nice to see some different stuff going on with the Be Quiet uh, power supply, but that's only a cheaper range, so it's not too bad. But there, that got released today at 12 o'clock. There should be a press release as well for that. But anyway, the main attraction is now 
Oh yeah, Paul's hardware. I think you copied me building my computer. I'm sure you did. But no bother. We'll just go. We'll go up against each other. We'll see who's got the fastest computer with a single GPU of a GTX, not GTX, RTX 2080 Ti, which I do have in my presence right now. And everything's a bit of a mission. I'm just pulling things out like I don't know, a magician. So here we go. This is. The Strix RTX 2080 Ti, uh, overclocked edition, 11 GB, GDR6 memory, or a sync, so it's going to be going into a nice build, which we're going to talk about right now. And um, yeah, this is going to be going up against Paul's hardware. If he wants to go against me with like Suze can get the highest 3D Mark score with a single graphics card, because I'll tell you what, we've basically nearly got the same build, but not quite. So you've got the same graphics card, which I've been talking about mine for ages and waiting for it. I've got a terabyte NVMe, and this is a 970 Pro. So it's got 3,500 megabit, megabytes per second read and writes. Well, actually reads. And the writes, I think, is like 27,000 um, megabytes or something. Not 27. 2,700 megabytes per second. Or it might be even more. No, 2,700. Right, so I've got that in a terabyte version. So... He's got uh, the Evo version as well, so it'll be nice. It depends on however you like set up your computer. Obviously, I've got the Meg as well, MSI Meg 390 Godlike motherboard. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, cooling situation for the M.2. I'm also receiving a Toshiba one for uh, like obviously USBs where I can just quickly do a little transfer and not interrupt anything on games and... Uh, anything to do with work because I'm going to be using it as a slow as not slow as a certain workhorse machine because technically uh, Intel 9900k is kind of crossing over to the workman work station and platform if you look at it I have a 3930k it's GTX 680 graphics card overclocked Asus one that's fully modded out which I've had it for, for, had for ages and that is that was a 3930K that I've got in there, a CPU, six cores, 12 threads, or it might be six threads, or six cores, six threads. I think it's, it might be six cores, 12 threads, actually. And uh, that's 3930K, obviously GTX 680, uh, and that's the overclocked version, and it's Asus uh, ROG version. I don't know what version it is. It's the top of the range Rampage version, or well, Rampage motherboard as well um, that it uses. And basically, that is on the... That's a uh, 1211, I think it's a 2011 motherboard. So basically, that is like a workstation sort of motherboard. Not sort of, but it is. It's, but I used it for gaming and everything like that, and it's fully water-cooled, so the graphics card's fully water-cooled, and the uh, CPU's fully water-cooled. It's still using it to this day. There is a video that I did show like me cleaning it all up from all those years ago to like obviously set the ball rolling for 2017 I think it was but anyway we were in 2018 so anyway on with Paul's hardware again so he's got Trident memory now I just copied every YouTuber or tech YouTuber with the newest memory because I'm a bit out of sync I've been using very plain memory like Crucial or, or Corsair, like very like plain stuff. I know Corsair does RGB and all this sort of stuff, but I wanted to get Trident, and I was gonna go for, or g Skull, I should say, I was gonna go for the baller one, where it's got like all metal and like gold or silver and crystal at the top. Yeah, if it was available, I would've bought it. This was like about 300 pound um, each pack, um, but I did say I was gonna spend like 600 pound on each thing, that made sense, that was relevant, just to take the mic in this video. But anyway, this is uh, clocked at 4,266 megahertz, each one, and this is 32 gigabytes of RAM. Trident or G-Skill don't make, or I haven't seen, this uh, to have four modules at that speed, and I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, I might have to send it back, one might work, or they might both work, or it might need to be slower, 
I'm going to be overclocking this as well. I'm going to be overclocking the CPU. I'm going to be going proper crazy. But that's the memories, RGB and all that sort of stuff. So that's all good. Then obviously we've got the Ryogen 240. Now, basically I bought this because I like the OLED uh, readout that I've seen. It will be really helpful to show CPU like temperatures and all that sort of stuff. I know you can do it with thermal takes, RGB lights and trio lights uh, with the fans. And you can obviously test it by um, having the lights shine a different color so it can show you uh, how hot the system is but this is just more newer technology that I like but I'm thinking it may be buggy because I don't think the software is ready uh, Asus didn't even release this like properly to show everyone it was just like a Computex and it was like you can get this in a four uh, power supply and stuff and it was like oh that looks pretty sick um, it does have a fan inside there to call the VRMs and phases and stuff um, on your motherboard, but Asus motherboards are pretty good. I've had loads of them and been able to overclock my CPU is a lot higher than any other motherboards. The least ones that I had uh, the main overclocking with was the Gigabyte motherboards. They were a bit of a problem. MSI was okay, that was good. Uh, ASRock was alright, but then the BIOS was all over the place and it was never ready properly. Asus crosshair wicked but that was on the Ryzen and obviously it was new technology back then so this is new technology now or kind of new technology it's kind of just a refresh so this is the Ryogen 240 I'm testing this just to see if it's going to do well on the 9900k and if it does that would be okay then I can obviously recommend it but I don't think it's going to be it depends I'm using the MSI motherboard and I'm sure that's going to run a little bit hot and I'm, I'm going to be doing a full water cooling build anyway, so it's going to be custom to keep the temperatures down because that's where I'm at home. I know what I'm doing with water cooling. That's custom. AIO in, it's, it's okay, but it's only so much you can do with it. So I don't know. Ugh. And then we've got uh, the ROG4 850 watt power supply. I was going to get to 1200 watt, but I thought that was a little bit overkill. This will be fine for what I've got at the moment, and then obviously it's got OLED readout and it's got RGBs on there, and it's obviously got RGBs on that one, so that will look pretty sick as well. Now, the main attraction for me is the case once I've put everything in there, but I can't really get it up. But it's a Lian Li uh, 011 dynamic and it's white. In fact, I will show you it, I'll show you it because I think Paul's hardware has nicked my idea. <laughs> I can't even leave this out of the way. All right, so if I can lift this box up. All right, so there's the case in the box. As you can see, I definitely got it. And where is it? It's, like it's white. You can see. Yeah, it's definitely white. All right, so you can see it says white, not the black version and it's a 011 dynamic and you can see it's white in there and I had this case for a while now I'm going to put it down oh. this case is going for a good freaking deal alright Lian Li are basically like hand makers of like cases they've got a few machines in that <coughs> but they're awesome for doing stuff like that <coughs> and um, this case I had to get it it's a hundred pound I got it for I would have got it for 90 but I got it for hundred pound Overclockers kind of sorted it out, and um, so I've got to say thank you for Overclockers for sorting this out for this build as well, um, because it doesn't come with any fans, but for all that price and how good that quality is, it's ridiculous. Now, the main, the main, the main thing, so that's, that's my main thing, but you guys, ugh, the main thing is this. This is what you really want to see, and uh, it comes in this bag, and you can guess what it is, can't you? It is the Cori 9900K. Oh! So the CPU is in a little box inside there. We'll get a little bit of B-roll so you can get a little bit of a close-up. But I personally just wanted it just for the box. I know it's kind of crazy for paying this price. I should know better because technically you should... If someone brings out a computer that costs like £5,000, you should be able to make that same equivalent or even faster for 2500 But it might be getting harder and harder to do that, but I don't know. Most of you probably down there uh, might have been able to do that. I don't know, but it's really hard to get hold of one of these. And I've got to say, Novatech, right... 
had five CPUs when I was doing that video and I was chatting, and then all of a sudden, it was there. So I just bought it and then got a uh, refund on the other one. And uh, that's still not available for a while. And I can't even look at the computer because I think my SSD is not connected, but I'm gonna connect it up so we can have a look to see what's available and what's not available. That um, Strix graphics card is definitely not available at the moment. It's virtually near enough impossible to get this and this. These, to be honest with you, the hardest stuff I've ever tried to get. All right, let's just say, so this has been the easiest to get. That's the easiest. The case is the easiest. Rog Rai GN240, uh, not so easy at all. It's basically sold out everywhere. Rog 850 Platinum, um, certain places ain't getting it till November the 30th. So basically, you might as well say you're going to get it on 1st of December if you're going to get next day delivery. This was virtually impossible. There's nowhere selling these graphics cards. This is over £1,500, that graphics card. This CPU is near enough impossible to get because, no, you can't get them. They're just like, where are they? And then, this memory, you're only allowed one per person because I don't know why. It just doesn't make any sense. It's expensive as it is. Why are you only doing one per person? But anyway, this is pretty cool, though. They never said this, that you actually get this in the bag. But anyway, with this case, I mean, with this uh, CPU, you get... Um, Call of Duty, Black Ops, and with this you get Assassin's Creed. So that is a good freaking deal. But this is going to be a beast computer. Obviously it's got Notchua fans. I've got to speak to Notchua to see if they've got these fans that you can send me. I do have... In fact, I don't even know if I've even got these Notchua fans. I might do. I've got the whole range of Notchua, and I still haven't even done the video yet. It's just something that's going to be a little bit more complex. I do have a fan video with Be Quiet, uh, Fractal Design, um... Uh, not sure. Um, who else is there? There's there's like loads of people on there, but like everything's all newer. You got the RGBs now, and no one really talks about the RGB fans as the best performance. They always say Black Noise and obviously Notchua. Now I've got a load of Black Noise fans as well. Um, I'm gonna go and get it so I can show you quickly. <sighs> So these are the Black Noise fans, and uh, I don't know whether to use Notchua or Black Noise because obviously it's a black ring around um, around the outside, and then obviously a white fan. So if I get this out real quick and show you what I'm talking about, these are very, very high quality, powerful fans, and the cables are really nice. You get these cables, a shorter cable, and they're four pins, so the PWM, some of DC, and then you've got these uh, absorptations for uh, sound vibrations. And uh, you can pop these off, which I'm not going to attempt to, because last time I'd done it and then cut my fingers off. They're like really sharp blades. And I had to pop some of these off in this modded video that I was talking about earlier with the Asus, with the 3930K, and um, also the Asus GTX 680. But anyway, you can imagine that in uh, the Lian Li case. It just looks lovely, but it's not um, RGB. But I'm, to be honest with you, I don't really want to go too much RGB. I want it to be kind of a very clean aesthetic, very minimal RGB, but you know it's there. So this has got RGB, um, but I've got no cutout. So the case, this power supply is going to be hidden. So I'm just going to have to work out whether I'm going to be sticking with that build or not. But technically I'm not because this build is just going to be purely using a CPU air cooler on the Light 900K. What is the uh, minimum that you can go with? like to use for gaming without overclocking then I'm going to do one for overclocking then AIO so 240 entry level because I liked it and then probably another 240 but if they're using Aztec technology is going to be different the deep cool is not using Aztec so that's not too bad I can use that which I've got the castle coming through and I've got a few other AIOs to test and then the last one's going to be custom water cooling where everything is going to be water cooled together and then obviously giving a demonstration of temps and stuff because this 9900k is definitely more it's like it's positioned in the way where it's gaming at any more cores or anything else then it's not going to do very well but then it's going to do very well with using an rtx 2080 ti with obviously video editing and rendering pictures and stuff like that because of the cuda cores and it just works really well it's just like other programs sometimes favor intel um Differently though, like um, uh, Resolve, 
So Blackmagic software and stuff like that, that utilizes any like CPU or any like um, graphics card when you're using it, so that's really good. But if you're using Adobe, it's more favored to this sort of scenario, which I use Adobe all the time. But then I do use Blackmagic sometimes because I've had some of them stuff had some of them stuff I've had some of this stuff and uh, I work with Blackmagic as well so it's good to like do stuff like that but this is purely going to be about gaming that's why I didn't go with 1200 watt and I didn't want to go with two graphics cards even though it was impossible to never get another graphics card it's definitely better just to get one graphics card and not have too much scaling and stuff like that it would just be perfect this 9900k it does look really nice uh, some people will be like it's a waste of packaging and stuff like that But I think Intel needs to step up their game with all this sort of stuff I can't wait for AMD because I think Zen and the Navi is going to be uh, smashing the graphics cards No, actually I don't think they'll be smashing the graphics cards I think they'll be in the realm of a 1070 and maybe a 1080 That's what I think But it will be a cheaper price for value so price per dollar or price per pound and obviously their CPU that I reckon it's definitely going to have that little bit more power but AMD can say do you know what we will fancy a little bit more money and just get that you know but yeah and um, if you're going to ask down in the comments why didn't you get this video I mean why did you not get this video why did you not get up for the Optane well this is faster than the Optane and what I need it for it's going to be definitely decent and it's been out for a while and it's going to have better drivers and stuff to make it run better Optane is better to use for other scenarios where actually I could use Optane I might do that in another build because then I can use that for 3D modeling and stuff like that and um, all animation stuff that needs to be done frame per frame that would make more sense than this but this is good for video editing and photos and rendering and stuff like that that would be good for it this I think is not going to do too well even though it's really nice I'm feeling that it might be a bit buggy because the software is not ready yet, but then they, they're running with Notchua, it'll be a bit of a slap in the face because Asus, and it's not even Asus, it's a Republic game, it's the ROG range, it's a bit like your Stone Islands and your Ralph Lauren and your Gucci and stuff like that. That's, that's that sort of level of what we're talking about with this. But anyway, I hoped this video was an insight of what I'm gonna be doing. I do have even more stuff to be talking about. And I, before you go, so this is what I'm going to do, do a little build and everything, then I'm going to be using a gaming desk and like a gaming chair because I'm sponsored by Rossi as well. So we've got all the gaming chairs and we've got the uh, gaming table and then we're also sponsored by BenQ Zowie. So we've got like 18 monitors ranging from 144 hertz to 240 hertz. We've got some that are 2K and some at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Um, I am not going to use that screen over there that's a 4k one but it's more of a workstation one but it's at 60 hertz but you could play games on it but it wouldn't be worth it because it'd just be stupid so i haven't got a screen that i can go up to 4k i'll probably go with 21 uh resolution 21 60 by 14 40 that's what i would go so 2k resolution would be much more nicer but um I'm going to be using like eSports keyboards and mice. So I've got BenQ Zowie's uh, range there for the gear sport and stuff. And then I've got Rockcat. And I've also got HyperX as well, which I forgot to mention in a video the other day where I was talking for quite a long time. But yeah, HyperX has fixed one of their mice and that. And I've got that. And I've also got the older version. And it's got the RGB and I've got one of the RGB keyboards. And then I've got the headphones. So I'm going to be obviously using this one, I think this is the yeah, this is the 600 GSP 600 or GSP 500, and it starts to get really expensive because that headset alone is about 200 or pound. Then I've got the actual DAC as well that goes with it, and I could use the Zowie DAC or I could use that DAC. But the DAC's like 200 pounds, so that's 400 pounds together, and you ain't even used the computer yet. But I want to symbolise what it would be like to have like the ultimate gaming machine. There is one more proper amazing gaming machine, and it's on Overclocker's website. And you sit in it, and it's got three screens and everything like that. It's like 10 grand. But yeah, who cares about that? It's what we're doing. <laughs> but anyway, if you've got any ideas that you should think or you want to let me know about anything about what i'm doing here with uh, this stuff i just realized that this is not what normal people would do it's a bit it's a bit over the top it's about five grand's worth of all the computer components that i'm using 
um, without even using a monitor or anything else like that. So, but the right way would have been to obviously um, ask questions of like, what is the normal spend of a gamer? Now, a gamer doesn't know, like some gamers might do, but they don't really care about everything about all the speculation and, and all the specs and texts and the qualities like that. All they want to know is like, can it game at 4K? Can I do this to my screen? Can uh, I have these many hertz? Is my mouse going to be responsive with it? Is it going to make me feel that I am playing more smoother gameplay? Screen's not tearing and stuff like that. And my computer's not going to be throttling and it's going to be like just, just a super computer like that for them. That's what they care about. But I'm doing the science side of it and the gaming side of things. But that's what I want you to do. I just want you to comment down below and let me know what you think about this. In fact, I might premiere this video so we can all just discuss it together all at the same time. Because it seems to be like the way that you'd all like to chat to me online and um, basically ask me questions right there and then. So it's pretty decent. But anyway, what do you think of this? Like the star player. Other than my, the case, the case is what I'm really interested in. When I put this all in, it's gonna look lovely. But yeah, obviously the Strix card, love Asus anyway. I've always liked Asus. I do like Gigabyte, yeah. I, I stopped liking them for a bit, but their new line that they brought up and their, their new graphics card looks absolutely stunning. It looks absolutely stunning. You're gonna have to check that video out. But anyway, new power supply by Asus looks really sick and AI calling looks really cool. It's really good that you could do this sort of thing it's just the start of just making something better and a readout as well of the power supply is really cool but anyway basically this is just everything that i've got that i thought i'd share with you really quickly and tomorrow i'm going to do the build and once the build is done i'll upload it but do you want to see the build and benchmarks together or the build and some benchmarks and then proper thermals of like how this CPU is going to do, and then the graphics card, all in that case. That's what I want you to do. Just want you to ask me any questions. But anyway, this is Roger, and this is Roger out. Roger and out, uh, obviously, Roger and out. <laughs>